Okay, so April preview. So you can tell that all I have on my... So this is using a not even an alternate account because I'm not even signed in. But I have a Marvel app account that I use, but this is on my phone, so I don't obviously... And I never read comics on my phone. I can't do it. So I have it. Just, I just have the app here. And the app is kind of nice because sometimes I want to look up something on the Marvel app, but I don't have my iPad on me. So I'll have the phone to look up something. To look up something. So that's pretty much what this is. It's kind of like a burner account, if you will. Okay, so Venom yet again. Um, Groot Vala. Oh, New Guardians, but Colin Kelly. I don't, I don't know anything about them. I think they're the ones that actually did that Miles Morales one that everyone hates. And honestly, I, looking at it, it would look terrible. Uh, finally ending the Jason Aaron Avengers run. Which I can't say finally, because I can't, I can't say if it's going on. Planet of the Apes. I started, I, actually, I can't say. I remember starting it, and I was like, yeah, it's not bad, but then it's also not good, and... I tried to get into it. I've tried to get into it so many times. I just can't. Another one though. So this is the this is I found found out what this is all about. This is Disney's one hundredth anniversary, and because they bought Marvel way back when, um, they're doing their own covers there to celebrate the hundredth hundredth anniversary, which is pretty cool. So this one this one is playing the Apes. I might consider getting into the Planet of the Apes Boom Studios comics. Cause I, I'm I'm gonna try and break my oh, but it's a movie first and a comic after. I can't read the comic. It does sound weird, but I want to, number number one, it's a way for me to um pace myself, and two, it just I feel like I have to kind of like be a big fan of the TV show, TV show or the movie things, and to enjoy it and all. Actually, I I've watched the uh the remakes. They're pretty good. The obviously the the two thousand eleven the Rise of Planet Apes that one, not not the Mark Wahlberg one. I I refuse to watch that one. I'd sooner watch the uh, TV show than that, which I actually think is pretty good, so I don't mind saying like that. Guardians, you already went over that. I don't know why they do that. I, mean, I guess I guess for the cover, but even then, no, oh no, because the cover was something else, right? I thought. Uh, Rocket Raccoon Marvel Tales. So what do you get in here? Oh, the four issue miniseries. See, this is awesome. Eight bucks, one hundred and four pages, four issue miniseries. Usually, you'd have to pay fourteen ninety nine, and it's eight bucks, and it's just the paper they use for the for the single issues, anyways. And it, it's not bad qual paper quality either. It's pretty good paper quality, so it's the cheapest route to go and the best route to go. I wish DC and like Image. I wish they would consider doing that. Just in general, honestly, not just Marvel Tales. Just do cheaper trades. Don't have to like, you know. Because you already use kind of cheap paper, even for the trades that it is. Uh, Strange Tales, Face Facsimile Edition. Those I like and don't like. Uh, the Rebirth. This one's supposed to be terrible, I heard. This is the one where they're going to do with stupid shit with him. I think. No, wait, it's not. Never mind. Wrong one. Go away. Uh, Warlock. So I, I, will, I will check that one now. i, I got to get the Silver Server one first, which I had a perfect opportunity to get that. It was like two ninety nine. But I was like, oh no, I don't have every Silver Surfer comic done by Ron Mars, so I can't read this one. Which that, to be fair, is a good, um, Ralph Macchio, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, a good, a, a good excuse. Alien, Dilbert Shavley, Storm and the Brotherhood of Mutants, X-Men, X-Men, X, oh, Avengers. There is now more Craig Cohen era X-Men comics than Chris Claremont X-Men comics. That is how bad that, that has gotten. There was more Krakoan since, what, 2019? There's been more comics since Chris Claremont's entire run? That is insanely bad. I don't care which way you construe that. That is awful. That is that's how you know that Marvel is pumping out those X-Men books. I'll never get into X-Men again. Current X-Men. I'll, I'll, I'll sooner get, you know, again, the great Chris Claremont omnibuses than get the current X-Men books. There's just way too much, and not all of them are good. And you have to read all of them, too, because they all talk to one another. You can't just get X-Men or X-Force. You've got to get them all. Uh, Avengers, Jason Aaron, War Across Time, four or five, so five-issue miniseries. I've got to get on that one. I've heard it's really damn good. Beyond, which I will probably get once I get the other ones that Derek Landy did. That's Falcon and Winter Soldier, and then Iron Man, Captain America. Hellcat. By Christopher Can't Write Well. Cosmic Ghost Writer by Stephanie Phillips, who I haven't heard too much bad about. Just her writing isn't great, but I haven't heard like she's causing trouble on Twitter or whatever like that. Jen McKay, Doctor Strange, Doctor Strange, Spider Gwen, whoops, uh, Spider Gwen, Venom, Legal Protectors 2, because we gotta. 
We can't just do lethal protector as one of ten. Now we gotta do two, three, four, and five. I'll, I'll bear, bearing to you. I'll guarantee you it's gonna be a third one. Uh, second issue of Hollow's Eve. So what actually? What exactly is that? Do I have to? Is this like a fucking uh um, what you call it? Event. Doesn't look like it. So I will check that one out. If it's just a mini series itself, Red Goblin, I'll check it out. If it's not, if it's not connected to anything, like if it's always oh, connected, because Red Goblin is connected to Spider Man. What's going on in Spider Man right now? I believe. So I can't pick up Red Goblin and I expect myself to know what's going on. Oh, it's not the one I'm thinking of. It was Gold Goblin I was thinking of. By by Christopher Kent right well. But that one's by Alex Pacneil. I don't know who much about who much about. Uh Spider Man, Mary Jane Black Cat, Spider Man, Miles Morales. Carnage twelve. Oh, it changes the uh, oh yeah, sorry. No, I didn't didn't. I didn't know it changed the guys. Changed writers. So no more Rom V after a while. But yeah, I've been I've been uh Picking that up, I I I gotta, I gotta get back on it. I just want to refresh my memory of absolute carnage. And I, I think I have to get I think I have to get extreme carnage, but may try and get them in my local library if anything. Because again, I missed out. We had to sell them like a, a bunch of newer books just this past month. I missed out on some of them. I got I got a good amount, but I missed out on some like the amount that I wanted. Spider Man by Dan Slott. That's so. There's, there's two Spider Man ongoings. Then this is in the mini series, and this is like it's so weird. It's like Spider Verse. Stuff. Marvel Voice is... Yeah, so Cody Ziegler, he is the guy. This one I might check out. I Am Iron Man. It looks to be a miniseries. Along with maybe this. Whenever I get that... Stephanie Phillips did some stuff for Image Comics. And whenever I get that, I'll now be all Stephanie Phillips. And I'll want to get those. And I'll get them then. But there's just... You have one they have two one volume of a two-volume series at Newberry. One of them is like three ninety nine. And I want them both, and they're not both there. So, and I'm gonna pay full price for volume two, you know, and not volume one. I hope, I hope I wasn't muffled. I had my phone on my, uh, my lap, on my lap, my stomach, my chest. It's holding it like I was, I'm laying down on my bed, and I had it, you know. Wolverine, X Force, X Men, X to X23 is not connected to what's going on for X Men, hence why she's called X23. So I will be, it's the only X Men book, modern X Men book, I'll be picking up. And even then, I'll probably stop it after issue one, or not pick it up at all, and then forget about it, and then be too far behind, like I am for so many Marvel books, and, and DC books especially. Um, so we got a new printing of a fac facsimile edition. That is strange. And for the uh, gatefold edition for facsimiles. Those ones that I like and I don't like. I like it because, oh, it's, you know, get all the ads. But it's like the true believers. You're paying full, you're paying full price for this. But it's just issue one. It'd be nice if it was like, I don't even know, because sometimes it's like, I don't know why I even picked them up. Because I'm, I'm really into the completest and to get one issue of a series, I have to get the tray that has already has that issue in it. Fact, similar editions are different because they have the ads in them. I wouldn't sell if I had Fantastic Four fifty eight in facsimile and trade, I wouldn't consider, I would, I would consider it to be different. You know, I wouldn't sell my copy of Fantastic 58 facsimile edition, even though I've been doing that for some of them. If I, if I find out it's worth a lot of money, they will, but other than that, I probably won't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Miracle Man, Marvel Tales. Mature readers, huh? I mean, I kind of should have known that. And 120 pages, and it's 10 bucks. And polybagged is probably the only reason for why. Wow. That is such a damn good steal. That's a, that's a steal. That is a steal. A real steal. Uh, yeah. uh, and I think it's the only reason why it's more expensive is because it's polybagged. Not because it has more pages. I want to say at least. Uh, Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. Captain America. What's Unforgiven, though? Who's that written by? Tim Seeley. Nope. That, no, thank you. Uh, Silver Surfer Ghost Light, written by John Jennings. And Clover in Time by Steve Scrooge. I'm checking that out. He is amazing. I liked his image work. He did some image. Thought I heard somebody. My, my dog only, my dog only like, runs to the, runs away. Yep, she, someone's here. All right, Fantastic Four. Ryan North. So what was I saying? I, I don't want to start saying that. So I liked his, um, he did something for Image. I forget. Maestro's. I, I like that. Uh, Ryan North, Fantastic Four. No, thank you. Don't like him. Don't like his writing. 
Uh, Bloodline, the first issue came out. Danny Lore, don't know. I haven't heard the best about that series. Wasp, or it was being solicited. There's a lot of, like, red flags. Uh, Scarlet Witch, Steve Orlando. May check that out. I, I actually, I'm one of the few people that actually like Steve Orlando. Deadpool, Alyssa Wong. Invincible Iron Man. Jared Duggan, She-Hulk. Hulk. Moon Girl, Monica Rambo, Thor. Joe Fixit and Punisher. Moon Knight, Ghost Rider, Daredevil, Predator, Star Wars, 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 Stormbreakers. That's what I might get. I saw that as January 2023. I have no idea why I saw that as that. September for Wonder Man. I don't know about that. Phoenix Omnibus Volume 2. Sigil Omnibus. This is a weird one. I've heard, like, it's supposed to be really good, so I might check that one out. But it's, like, one of those Marvel books that's, like, not, like, a... It's, like, a kind of, like, almost like an indie publisher. And actually, it did not originally come from Marvel, if I believe if I, I believe so. Avengers Omnibuses. Cannot wait for these. Again, Avengers got good after, like, 19 issues. And after that, it was pretty good. You know, it was... Yeah, it's dated, but it, it was still interesting. But the first, like, 10 or so issues, I absolutely hated. But again, I read issue 19 um, as, like, it was, like, an orphaned issue. And I, and I really liked that. It was a Swordmaster one. Whenever one Swordmaster first appears in, that was when I liked. Invincible Iron Man. No, thank you. I'd say softcover. I, I read that as softcover. I don't know why. Overpriced. Overpriced. Um, I checked that one out. I mean, it's good, like, yeah, you get the, but it's like, it's a hundred, it's $75 or 376 pages, and it's the same paper quality as an omnibus. I don't I don't get it. My dog's barking. What if, I know exactly who's home. Turtle Guardian Devil, Spider-Man, Daily Neighborhood, Zeb Wells. Actually, it could be my, could be my, uh, my nephew coming home with, from daycare. Anything because he could have his, his dad could have gotten home early. Star Wars Murder World. So, what exactly comes out for this? Like, how many do I need to get? Avengers, Spider Man, Wolverine, Moon Knight, and Game Over. Okay, so like five or six. I, I didn't count how many it was. A good amount. Punisher, Carnage Volume 2, Trials of X, X Force, Captain Marvel, Immortal X Men, The Hood, which I like this one. This was good. I have it on a Kindle. It's good so far. What the heck? Is it more than that? Oh, it's more than that. But I like that it's explicit content, even though... Even though the only thing that's explicit content is the first five issues, and the rest is just your standard Marvel pricing. Uh, like, parental advisor, which is which means they don't sense... It means they sense the swear still. Explicit contents are rated. Parental advisories are, are very strong. PG-13 and light R, because they sense the F-words still. She-Hulk... It varies what they censor. Sometimes they censor the S word, sometimes they don't. Sometimes they censor the B word. It's, it's really weird. Uh, X Men Legends, Ultraman, X Men, so much. X Force Epic Collection, Generation X, Iron Man, Shudder Jim Fury, reprinted that one, She Hulk, which I might get into, Spider Man, X Men, Double Trouble, Photon, Captain America, and then that's it. Let me end this.